please subscribe to the channel as only 11.6% of you are subscribed to the channel. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Also, apologies for the terrible lighting. I didn't realise it would be quite as bad as it was. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Hey, guys, and welcome back to the channel. Platinum Bricks 95. And we're back again with another Lego Marvel video. Firstly, I do want to give a big shout out, as per usual, to all of the new subscribers. Thank you so much for subbing to the channel. I think we're eight subscribers away from 500. So if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, please consider clicking the subscribe button. But as to all of you that have, thank you so much. It really means a lot and I appreciate you all. Secondly, I do want to give a quick big shout out to uh, Lots of Lego. Go and sub to his channel. It will be linked in the description down below. But a big shout out to you, mate, for uh, putting me in your community post and telling everyone to sub to me. It really does mean a lot. So thanks so much, mate. So then, guys, what is today's video? Well, you can probably tell by the title and the thumbnail, but I've been very, very busy and we've finally done it. We've finally broken down all of the Lego Marvel sets that we needed to. We finally parted out all of the Lego Marvel sets we needed to. And what we are left with is a table full of bagged up Marvel sets, as you can see here. Now, not all of my Lego Marvel sets have been broken up or parted out from my Lego collection and stuff like that. I have actually kept a few built up. And as you can see up here, I've still got all of the Infinity Saga sets that I own. I've still, I'm still going to be doing a review on all of those. Uh, I've also kept the original Avengers sets built up. Uh, I've kept the Age of Ultron sets built up. And I've also kept all of the Guardians of Gal uh, the Galaxy Volume 1 and Volume 2. I've kept all of those sets built up. Now, that is because I am actually planning on reviewing uh, the, well, those themes, those MCU sets. I am actually planning on doing reviews for all of them and also uh, buying the sets from those waves that I don't own, which is going to cost a fortune, by the way, because a lot of LEGO Guardians of the Galaxy, the pricing is insane. And also, I only need one Age of Ultron set, but it's going to cost a fortune. And as for the Avengers, I have all of the sets, but the main big Quinjet is not complete. And that is going to cost a fortune to complete. But anyway, enough of that. We've talked about the sets we've kept, uh, kept built up. Now I'm going to show you all of the sets that I've broken down and where I store them, essentially. So let's do that. So then, guys, here we are. You can see all of the sets that I've broken down. Now, I am going to instantly apologise, as per usual, for my absolutely horrendous, and I mean horrendous, handwriting. Look at that. That is my handwriting. At my age, that is my handwriting. It's terrible. So I do apologise. But as you can see, I have bagged everything up and parted things out. Now, the annoying thing is, I don't like it when they're bagged up like this. I'd rather the bag be full. So I need to find a happy, happy medium between this bag and this bag. Unfortunately, as you can see, like there's too much wasted space there for me. And I don't like that so i will be ordering new bags and putting them into the correct bags for instance that just about fits in that bag and if i open it i'm really worried that i'm going to struggle to get it all back in now i do want to say that i have broken down the ultimate bridge battle here now obviously this fills up a huge bag and it's very heavy but i did say i was going to keep it built up but i've decided against it now as you can see up here i'll quickly show you these are the Lego Marvel sets that I'm planning on keeping built up at the moment. Up here, these are the ones that I want to keep built up. And then down here, we've got my Lego Winnie the Pooh, Lego the Fr uh, Friends Cafe, and the 3-in-1 Creator Castle. And basically, out of all the sets I own, they are the only ones that I want to keep built up, which is crazy. Well, actually, no, that is a lie. I have got the Guardian ship here as well, and I do have a couple of Quinjets there, and I do want to keep them built up. But who knows? Anyway, those are the only sets I want to keep built up as of right now, even including all of these ones up here. So, yeah, we are going to be looking into getting some more sets uh, that we can display, really, because whilst these are nice sets, they're not really good display sets. I suppose you could argue that Iron Man is, but I don't really think so. But anyway, 
The sets that we've broken down, I've basically broken down all of the Spider-Man sets after Lego Spider-Man September. I thought that was a good idea. I thought I'd get them broken down. So yeah, I've got the last five manuals of the last five that I've just parted out. Literally, they're in the other room at the moment. I'll go and get them in a minute. But literally, I've parted out all of the sets. So yeah, all of the sets that have been reviewed on the channel have been parted out. And also sets that I'm not planning on reviewing have been parted out because originally I was going to review every single Lego Marvel set that's ever come out. But I realised that's just a silly undertaking and not everyone's going to want to watch, I don't know, like a tiny little Spidey and Friends 4 Plus review. You know, it's not me. And also, this is not just a review channel. It's about a Lego collection and collecting Lego and enjoying Lego. And yeah. That's why I figured I'm going to be weaning off some of the lesser reviews. But like I said, I am still going to be reviewing the big Marvel sets and doing all of the Avengers and Guardians of Galaxy and stuff like that. But yeah, this is all of the sets that I've parted out. And again, I've absolutely waffled here, but you can see them all. They're all here and they're all parted out. Now, I do keep them stored in these boxes over here. So you're actually going to see me put them in there now. There you go then guys, as you just saw, I have managed to fit them all in these containers here right now. I just knocked some minifigures over, ignore that. But yes, eventually what I'd like to do is sort of get more sort of like boxes, uh, flatter boxes, but a lot wider and sort of lay them in there. But as, as you can see, this one is completely full. This one has got room to store more sets, which obviously it will have to do as time goes on and I finish reviewing sets that I don't want to keep built up as you can see up here I've got the Age of Ultron sets that I'm yet to review I've got to make sure all the pieces are there and they're all built up properly and then we will be getting into reviews and the next review may even be coming tomorrow but if not it will definitely be here by Monday or Tuesday Tuesday at the latest so then guys as you can see I just wanted to give you a quick little close-up of these and as you can see that one this box here is completely full, which is a shame, but there is actually a room for a bit more in here, which there, as I stated, there will need to be as time goes on. But yeah, I'm pretty happy actually with the amount of bags I had. I didn't know if they would fit in here and they have. And I'm actually, yeah, I'm very happy that I've got a place to keep them all because as we all know, storage is a nightmare. Also guys, as you can see to my right, so I think that might be your left, these are all the boxes that I've crushed down. Wait, there we go. These are all the boxes that I've crushed down for the Lego sets that I've parted out as well. As you can see, I've got a load of them here and they are all, of course, going up in the loft eventually. I'm gonna put them down there. And here are the boxes that are to be broken up and crushed down. But something that I did wanna point out. So this is a Lego Avengers Assemble set and I have broken this down and I've broken down all of my Lego Avengers Assemble sets and stuff like that. Reason being is I'm not planning on reviewing all of these individually. If that is something you would like to see, please let me know in the comments down below. But genuinely, it's not something that I'm really interested in doing. If you guys want to see it, of course I will do it. But um, I'm going to wait until I've got all of the Lego sets from Avengers Assemble and stuff like that. So like all, um, I don't know, just wait till you get all of the older sets and then do one video on all of them together. And if you guys wanna see individual reviews of those sets, just let me know and I will do them. But generally, I'm just planning on doing them all together. And as we all know as Lego collectors, space is vital. Like we don't have a lot of it and yet yeah, we've got to make do with what we've got. And as I can say, like literally, that's the wall, I'm touching the wall and it's about six inches from where the camera is. So this is not a big room. So breaking down all the sets is just making room for more stuff. And that's what we want as Lego collectors, isn't it? We want more Lego. So yeah, that's what I've been up to really when it comes to my Lego collection or Lego Marvel collection anyway. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this update on my Lego collection and what I've been doing in Lego. Again, I do have to apologize for how long it's been since I posted a video. I promised that I would get back to three days and I haven't. But as I've stated, I am planning on doing reviews on the Lego Avengers Infi uh, 
Age of Ultron sets, Avengers sets. So they will be coming. So definitely keep your eyes peeled for those. And I will be getting back to uploading every three days. I promise you that. Also, guys, if you could like, comment and subscribe, I really would appreciate it. Obviously, I say it all the time and I know it gets boring hearing it. But genuinely, it really does mean a lot. So if you guys could show your support by liking the video, subscribing to the channel and maybe dropping a comment down below, I really would appreciate it. Also, if you could check out my Instagram and TikTok, they are linked in the description down below. If that's the sort of thing you want to go and see, they're just extensions of the YouTube channel, really, uh, like photographs and sh short videos of uh, my Lego Marvel collection. So if that's something you're interested in, please go and check it out. And also at the top of the description, you will see lots of Lego's YouTube channel. So please go and give him a follow, especially if you like Lego Marvel, because he creates really good content around Lego Marvel. So go and check him out. So then guys, there you have it. That's the end of the video. All that's left to say is thanks so much for watching. And yeah. I guess I'll see you in the next video. Good bye!